For most of this spring, the humidity has been non-existent around here, but it's come back for the first time, so it's a good time to remind ourselves why we use the dew point to measure how the air feels and not the relative humidity. The dew point represents how much moisture is in the air, and when the number gets higher, the more humid the air feels. Usually about 60 for a dew point is when it starts feeling humid. When this number gets into the mid-60s, it's very humid, and near or over 70, it feels tropical or like Florida out there. Now, yesterday, the dew point started to surge up as moisture came in. So let's take a look at how the, this trended over the last 24 hours. Last night, the dew points actually went up and the temperature can't drop below the dew point, which is why last night was not only a muggy night, it was a pretty mild night. And a lot of you probably needed the AC to get the mugginess out of the air. The humidity lingered around today with dew points still in the 60s through midday, but now some drier air is beginning to move in and it will start to feel a little bit more comfortable overnight tonight. The reason why it has not been humid much at all this spring is the same reason we've had so much wildfire smoke. The jet stream to our south, a general northwest flow, which brings in drier, less humid air from Canada. And this week, for the first time this spring, we've had more of a southerly flow, a muggy flow, sending up humidity from the south. And it looks like we may turn a little bit more humid again on tomorrow with a chance of some of those showers and storms. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61. Connecticut's news station.